Hello Girl Scouts! My name is Rebecca, Bex for short. I am the Girl Experience STEM Specialist for Girl Scouts Heart of Central California. This video will cover steps one through three for your Cybersecurity Basics badge. You will find out how to use technology, discover what your technology can do, and find out how to create layers of security. Since COVID-19, the world has turned to technology to work, learn, play, and to shop. It is so important to understand how technology works and the safest ways to use it. I wanna start this video by talking about what I'm grateful for today. I'm grateful that I have a safe space to be in during this time and that I can still connect with my family, friends, and loved ones through technology. It's so important to try and be optimistic during such a difficult time and to be grateful for the things that you do have. Practicing gratitude every single day, it creates positivity and it helps you not take for granted the things that you do have. Okay, let's get started. For this video, you'll need a couple sheets of paper, pens, pencils, and colored markers or colored crayons if you'd like. Let's go over some terms that we use when we're talking about technology. First, technology is the inventions that come from research and science, it helps us solve problems, and it makes our lives so much easier. Computers, cell phones, and tablets are some examples of technology that help us communicate with other people. Cybersecurity refers to how people keep their digital information from being stolen and defend against cyber threats and attacks. A device is a machine or piece of equipment like a cell phone, tablet, printer that either works like a computer or is connected to a computer. I use my cell phone every day, I use my laptop every single day, and I also listen to music on my Bluetooth speaker. What are some other devices that you use every single day? Day. Safety means to be free from danger or harm. You follow safety rules every day to avoid danger and to keep yourself from getting hurt or from losing something. Forgive me, I'm not an artist. I drew a picture of myself putting on a seatbelt in my car. Every time I drive, I have to put on my seatbelt because it's a law that enforces safety. It makes sure that I'm safe if an accident were to happen. Pause this video here and draw yourself practicing a safety rule. This is me practicing a safety rule. Passwords and usernames ensure that your devices and accounts are private just for you. The internet connects millions of computers all around the world. Imagine a highway that connects towns and cities. The internet works the same way. Before smartphones and devices, you used to have to carry around a lot of things that now we find in one device. For example, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. here are some things that I found in my house that I can find all on my phone now. A watch to tell time, a flashlight, a CD, all of my music is on my phone now, a book that you can read on your tablet or your phone or smart device, and a calendar. Technology makes our lives so much simpler and so much more convenient. Look around your house and try to find items that are now on your phone. Isn't it crazy how technology has advanced so quickly? Even as we speak, new discoveries in technology are being found and created and invented. Talk to your parents or your family or your friends about what technology was like when they were your age. Ask them to help you understand how convenient technology is today. Since we have everything we need at our fingertips, why do you think it's so important to keep our devices safe? How do we keep them safe? Well, a lot of important information is stored on your phone. Banking information, email addresses, your address, people's phone numbers, a lot of very private things can be stored on your phone. So it's important that you keep all of this stuff safe because you don't want that information being put into the wrong hands. Can you think of other ways that you can keep your devices safe? Firewalls, antivirus, protection, and secure internet sources are also some ways that companies have created to block any sketchy sites or hackers. Remember that hackers and viruses can be very sneaky and misleading. Use your knowledge and your wisdom to be able to spot suspicious activity on your device. And if you aren't sure if something isn't safe, talk to an adult about it. It is important to have many layers of security and protection when we're using our devices. Think of a castle. Castles have many layers of protection in order to keep enemies and strangers out. What are some things that you think of when you think of a castle? I think of tall brick walls, a moat with an alligator crocodile inside, a fire-breathing dragon. Pause this video here and draw a castle. Make sure that you add many layers of security and protection so that there's absolutely no way that anyone can get in. And be creative. So here's my castle. As you can see, there's a fire-breathing dragon, there's a barbed wire around it, a big moat with crocodile, 
Some people are trying to get in, but they're blocked by the fire. And of course, it's a nice day. There's sun and clouds. Congratulations on earning steps one through three for your Cybersecurity Basics badge. I hope you had fun and I hope you learned a lot about cybersecurity and the devices you use every single day. Stay safe and make sure you keep in contact with the ones you love. Until next time, peace out Girl Scouts. Goodbye. This is my dog, Lucy. She would be the guard for this, for my castle. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs>